Through Fort Ticonderoga's commitment to excellence and authenticity, several of these ice creepers were reproduced based off the original archaeological examples. This provided our staff with the neat attraction during our winter programs and allowed our visitors a tangible connection to the soldiers who wintered and campaigned here at Fort Ticonderoga. In all, we have 42 examples of ice creepers that were recovered at the fort. The smith would first begin with an approximately one inch wide, and in the case of this particular piece, about five and a, inch, five and a half inch long uh, strip of wrought iron. The first step, I believe, would have been punching the hole in the loop through which the leather thong would pass to strap it over the shoe. The next step would be cutting the, the tines in the end of this. And that would be done with just a chisel. And after you've done that, it's just a ma simple matter of bending up the loop portion and then bending down the two tines. And once you've done that on both ends of the wrought iron strip, you've got essentially a finished ice creeper.